time, my artist. So today we are going to start a Chinese scroll painting project. Now, hopefully we will get it finished in one class. But we're going to play it by ear, okay? So we have been studying China, and this is our next project looking at China, okay? So this is our Chinese scroll painting project. So while I'm going to the next slide, has anybody ever heard of Chinese scroll painting before? You might have seen it. Here's an example of one. If you notice, it has writing on it. So this is Chinese writing. This one is vertical, which means it's up and down. Okay. And if you notice, it's got a wooden bar down here at the bottom. Here's another one. It's very similar in how it's set up. It's got the wooden bar at the bottom. It's got some writing on it, but this one is a landscape. If we remember, a landscape is a picture that has land in it, okay? Um, you might also see at the top, there's some birds. There's water, water down here. But a lot of it is the mountains and the trees. Oops, too far. Here's another one. Again, it's a landscape. The main focus of it is the tree with the birds on it. It also has writing on it. And again, it's got the wooden roll at the bottom. And it's vertical. All right, here's four examples. So four different examples. All of them are landscapes. They all have writing on them. All right, and before we move on, I want to tell you just a few facts about scroll paintings. So not all of the scroll paintings are vertical, like the ones we've seen. Some of them are horizontal, which means they run across. And those are not normally landscapes. Normally, they are um, basically like a storybook with illustrations. So you would read it, and it would tell you a story. Now, it may not always write out the story, but it would show you through illustration. So that's pretty cool. Um, they began, a lot of them, just by using ink. So a lot of them were black and white when they were made. Okay. Now, we're going to make ours in color. But if you want to just use black and white, you can. Okay. That's your choice. Um, like I said, they were attached to wooden rollers. And the kind of interesting part about scroll painting is normally when we make a picture or we have a picture, we hang it up and it stays up for a long time. It doesn't come down. Well, scroll paintings were special. They were normally rolled back up and put either in a box or in a container. And they were only shown on very special occasions. Okay, it was very rare to have them hanging up. Okay, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to scroll through a few pictures of China. I don't think I have any more scroll paintings on here. And you're going to get some ideas for what your scroll painting is going to have on it. Okay, now I've got an example of what I drew in a minute that you'll see. But I'm not going to tell you how to draw your scroll painting. I'm going to let you choose. Okay, now what I do want you to do is to pick a picture from China. Okay, I don't want you drawing your house or your cat or something. Pick something from China. Could be a landscape. All right, could be an animal. But pick something you would see if you were in China. All right, here's what I went off of. Okay, now when you see my picture, you will notice my picture is not realistic. Okay, I did the best that I could. Um, but like you guys, I'm trying just to use the materials I have. Okay, I know all of you guys don't have watercolor, which is what they used a lot after they stopped using ink. They used lots of watercolor. But hopefully what you have is markers, and that's what I used. Okay, markers will work. Um, you can turn those into watercolor, and I'll show you how in a little bit. Or you can use crowns, or if you don't have any of that, you could use a black ink pen. Okay, but there's a picture I went off of. Here's another one I thought was really cool. We think we have big mountains here, but look at that. Here's another one that I thought was very peaceful. I love this one. The mountains in the background. Here's the rice fields. Are those beautiful? This is flowers. It's a lot of flowers, isn't it? 
And this is the Great Wall. So I threw that in because most people have heard of the Great Wall of China. And I wanted to give you just a little bit of information about it in case it's what you want to draw. So the Great Wall is more than 13,000 miles long. That is a very, very long wall. Okay, it was built over six different dynasties. So that's not just having six different rulers. Okay, um, when in China, when they talk about a dynasty, that's any time that basically the um, ruler was within the same family as the previous ruler. So if, for instance, if I was the ruler of China, if I had a child and they became the next ruler, they would still be within my dynasty. Okay, so when I say six dynasties, that could be hundreds and hundreds of years that they worked on the Great Wall. Okay, so it was a very long process. Okay, and if you see, if you look closely right here, those little bitty dots you see on there, those are people. That's how big it is. Okay, um, it is also, even though I told you it took hundreds and hundreds of years to make, it hasn't been uh, built or been, it's been worked on over the past years, but it hasn't been actually built or added to in over 2,000 years. So it's very, very old. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to scroll back through these pictures and you need to be thinking about what picture you're going to pick to do your scroll painting on. Now, if you can't find one that you like on here, you can look up China, look up maybe the landscape pictures or the Great Wall, or even if you want to do an animal, if you want to do a panda bear, or if you want to do birds from China, you can search that, okay? But what you're going to do after you've decided is we'll talk for a few minutes, and then you can go back to the picture that you want to use, okay? All right, so I'm going to go ahead and exit out, and I'm going to show you what my picture looks like right now. All right, so here's mine as of right now. Like I said, it's not perfect. Um, I just used my markers. All right, so what you're going to do is you're going to draw your picture out, and then if you're using marker, we can make it into a watercolor, okay? Um, and then... You're going to let it dry, and then what you'll be able to do is roll it up into a scroll painting. Okay, now it has to be dry before you do that if you add water to it. Okay, um, so what you need to do right now is go ahead and pause the video, work on your drawing, and then when you are done with that, come back and I'll show you what to do next. Okay. Um, if you use marker. Now, if you don't have marker and you've got crowns, you're good to go. You go and you pick your picture you want to color. You color it, you roll it up, and you're done. You have your scroll painting. But if you want to add some uh, water to it to make it a watercolor, go ahead, draw it, and then come back. Okay? So remember, go and find your picture you want to draw, and then go ahead and start drawing. It does need to be vertical. can't be laying like this. Okay? Like I said, this is my picture. Here's my mountains. Here's my reflection on the water. Okay, I'm going to give you just a minute while I go and get my water and paintbrush, and then I'll go ahead and show you the next steps, okay? Okay. So if you're here now, I'm assuming you have your picture all drawn and you're ready to make it a watercolor picture, okay? So what you need is a cup with water, you need a paintbrush, and you need your finished picture, okay? Now, what we're going to do is we're going to very carefully start going over some edges, all right? Now, we're not going to paint all of it at one time because what would happen is all of our colors would end up blending together all right it wouldn't look like mountains it would just look like this big blue and green picture so I'm just gonna pick a few areas that aren't touching to work on so I'm working on this mountain right now 
and all the way to the edges. All right, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here, this mountain. I skipped one. I'm moving over here so that it's not touching my other one. Again, I'm filling in the whole shape with my water. And if we remember, we have to add lots of water so our paintbrush has a good hairdo. All right, I say that because you see my paintbrush, see how nice and smooth that is? It's because I added enough water. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and skip to my reflections. One down, come over to this one. All right, now after I have this done, I'm gonna go ahead and take a break. I'm gonna let it dry, and then I'm gonna come back after it's dry, and I will work on painting some of the other areas, okay? But I'm not gonna paint them all at once because I don't want them blending all together, okay? Now, what you're going to do is you're going to let this dry. And how you tell it's dry is when you feel it and it's not wet and it's not cold. Okay, so you can, when it's got water on it, it'll feel kind of cold to the touch. Okay, it's not a quick process. Give it some time. And then you're going to come back and you're going to finish painting in your picture. Okay, then after it's totally dried, then you'll be able to roll it up and you will have your scroll painting. Okay, I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. If you need help with anything or you have any questions or concerns, let me know. I hope to see you all soon. Bye.